We are back and ready to continue with the Super Metroid Legend of Zelda Link to the Past randomizer. In the last part, we went through uh, the Dark Palace in the Dark World, and we found a sword in the graveyard where the Magic Cape normally is. I came back to Kakariko Village, because in here I can get another item now that I have an empty bottle. I just gotta talk to the sick kid in bed. Normally he would give me the bug catching net. This time it's a missile upgrade for Samus. <laughs> it's alright, can I talk to him? Leave me alone, I'm sick, you have my item. <laughs> Yeah, the problem with Samus is there's a few areas I can still explore with her, but without the various suit, I can't go into Norfair for the most part. And without uh, the, the gravity suit, I can't really explore the sunken ship or the Meridia area, which is fully underwater. So, what we can access are a few new areas thanks to the Titan's Mitt. Actually, no, before I go there. Hold on, a little uh, mixed up right now. We'll go into Misery Mire next. Now that I have the Titan's bit, I can lift up this rock. That opens this way. We are now in Misery Mire in the Dark World. This place is usually reserved for coming here much later. You'll see it's raining right now. I can open the Misery Mire dungeon while I'm here, but I don't yet have uh, the means, the tools are necessary to clear the Misery Mire dungeon. But there are some items I can find around the area. There's a guy up here. I can bomb the wall. Go in. For 20 rubies, I'll tell you something. Okay, tell me. All I can say is that my life is pretty plain. I like watching the puddles gather rain, and all I can do is just pour some tea for two. And speak my point of view, but it's not sane. It's not sane. <laughs> I know I probably shouldn't pay those guys to talk to me, but it's just so funny to see what they have to say. There were some hearts and some more bombs and arrows up there. So if I need any of those things, I know where to go. I think if I go up here, I go into this corner and use the magic mirror. See, it brings me up here to where this boulder is. I can pick it up and throw it out of the way. There's a secret passage here. And there's more power bombs for Samus in here. I just have to push the blocks in a way that gets me over to him. There we go. Now we return to the dark world. I'll show off this little quit. I think it's gonna send me back again. Yeah because I'm actually in the wall and wouldn't have been able to move, so it just warps me back to Hyrule. So I'll stand closer to the middle where I use the magic mirror, and that shouldn't happen this time. There we go. Now we can keep exploring uh, the swamp. I can't swim in the dark parts of the water, because I don't have the flippers yet. So I'll have to find a way around. Oh, watch out for that bird. You can see it took three hearts off me when it hit me. It's a lot tougher than a bird in Hyrule. Watch out for the things jumping out of the water here. As well as the uh, Dark World equivalent of the Zoras there, those one-eyed creatures. Yeah, I can't swim yet, so I gotta go around the darker water. Then I can go in here. Oh boy. Let's get out of there. <laughs> You saw, you saw it leads into Super Metroid, but it leads into a area in the Norfair depths, which I can't survive as Samus because she doesn't have the Varia suit yet. That's why I got out of there quickly. You might have heard the sound of her energy depleting rapidly. That was why. Right, let's jump in this one. This one should be a cave entrance. Yeah, here we go. There's some items I can get in here. This first one is... That's a plus five arrow upgrade. What that means is I can now carry five more arrows for Link, for a total of 35. Next one's another power bomb upgrade for Samus. Alright. I can stop the rain. Oh, I gotta watch out. The other problem with these uh, birds is that they're more aggressive than the ones in Hyrule. They will not stop pursuing you. I'm gonna try to find a uh, opening over here. I think it's on the other side. 
Normally I'd have the Master Sword at this point, but there's another upgrade I can get, which I probably will in this part. Because even if though I don't have the Master Sword, I can still temper the sword I have now to get the level 3 sword. That'll skip me ahead to the level 3 version of the Master Sword. The symbol here shows Bombos. Normally it's Ether, but it randomizes it in the randomizer. So we'll cast Bombos to open the door to Misery Mire. I can go in, but I'll show you why I can't really go that far here. To cross this block, I have to have uh, the hook shot, and I don't have the hook shot yet. So we'll go ahead and slice our way back out past these guys. So until I have the hook shot and another particular item, I can't really do the Misery Mire dungeon. But I've stopped the rain from pouring in the swamp. And I think if I use the magic mirror in the right place, I can probably get up here to the desert palace. It'd be kind of a tricky shortcut. Let's try here. There we go. And you're not normally supposed to be able to do it this way, but I can. So now I can clear out the desert palace. I'll grab the piece of heart that's here. Vulture won't get in my way. I'll enter the desert palace through this door. You might remember the bomb shop owner said if I can get him the pendants in the Tower of Hera and here that I'd get access to the super bomb. So yeah, I think our next task will be to clear the desert palace. I know I can push one of these. There we go. That opens the door. Leads into a fairy fountain. I'll help myself to a fairy. Now we got the levers from the original Zelda in this dungeon. They come out of the sand and will come after me. We also got the blue anteater things that come out. The blue ones just come out of the sand and try to pull you in, but the red ones will shoot fireballs at me. So it's a good thing I already have the red shield. And of course the silver arrows will one-shot anything, so <laughs> I can use those to my advantage. I think what I'll do first is I'll make my way back to the main entrance. Out of the way. Now, this is where you normally come in. I'll show off why I couldn't get in the normal way. Down here you'll see this thing is blocking my exit. That pillar, that monolith below it, that's where you use the Book of Medora where Link will open the door. But since I don't have the Book of Medora, I had to use the Magic Mirror and go through Misery Mire to get to the Desert Palace, but we're here now. Let's see, I require, uh, keys and other items. Can I go through this door? I can, but that leads to a f an exit that just leads out of the palace and out back into the desert itself. So we won't be taking that door. I think this is just a trap room. Yeah, they trap you in here with uh, four purple levers as well as that fire-breathing anteater. But we'll go ahead and kill them all. I don't think I get anything in this room. Nope. So we'll try another door. Since I have the Pegasus boots, I can use those to... Fired the silver arrow at him just as his eye opened, but he didn't uh, get hurt. That's why I didn't kill him. I have to wait for them to start moving first. Just kill this Igor this, that way. And if I lift up these, I'll find the switch that'll make a chest appear, and it'll contain the first item I get here. Normally, I think this is a key. It's the big key. <laughs> Head into this door. I think there's a key in this room. Yeah. There's also a message block. It says, Things can be knocked down if you fancy yourself a dashing dude. Obviously, they mean if I dash into this lantern, I can get the key. There we go. Now I gotta decide where I'm gonna take this key, because there's a few doors I could unlock. 
I think what I'll do is I'll go down the normal route of the Desert Palace, and we'll go over here. We'll go through this door, which is the one you normally go through when you get the big key. To defeat all these things here. That's another missile upgrade for Samus. Dash past these cannons. And there's another key item I need. I was, I've been hinting at this one for a while. This is the Cane of Samaria. I'll show off what it does. As I step through this door, I'll use it. It uses some magic, but it creates these blocks. I can put these blocks onto switches that I couldn't depress on my own. They can damage enemies, and if I push the attack button, it splits the block and shoots in four directions. Not only will it do this, but I will need this staff in order to create platforms that'll get me across the gaps in the Turtle Rock Dungeon in the Dark World. So this item is a must-have for beating the game. Now I need another key, though, and... I look on the map... I think the only door I haven't been through yet is the one that also requires a key. Or maybe it doesn't. Alright. This requires I find a... a switch to open while I avoid the Beemos. Yeah, the rotating eye on the thing will shoot a laser at me whenever it sees me. And you can't block the laser, not with any shield in the game. Here's the big chest. Compass was inside. Alright, we'll leave here. Shoot the anteater and block its fireball with the shield. Grab another rupee. Shoot a silver arrow to take him out. I think what's funny is that all three of the uh, palaces in the light world have the dark world theme because all three of them contain the crystals that you're supposed to collect in the dark world. None of them have the pendants of virtue that you need to get the master sword. So yeah, since I can lift up these rocks, normally you get the power glove in the desert palace, which is why I was able to lift those rocks up in the normal game. So we'll progress this way, get a new key. Yeah, I think I can clear the desert palace while I'm here. I don't think these uh, blocks have anything to offer me, but I'll wait and fit them out. Later rooms, you'll have to wait out these blocks, the like tiles coming up and attacking you. You can just dodge them. You can also s knock them out of the air with your sword or other items. And it forms like a skull and crossbones style logo once they're all done. And usually, if there was a chest or an item, it would appear once all the blocks are done. Here's the key I got to go up here. Get some more of these things to kill, so we'll go ahead and slice them up with the sword. And in this room, I think I have to light the torches to move forward. So what I want to do is I'll clear out all the enemies. Preferably without bumping right into them or getting zapped by lasers. And you'll see here, no key appeared. So there's the key. Alright, what does happen if I light all these torches? Does it even matter? Only one way to find out. I guess not. Here's another room with those spinning tiles. I already got the key. And again, I don't think there's a chest in here to collect, so I'm just going to move on to the next room. There's another red Igor, but I've got the bow and silver arrows. So he's no challenge. One arrow will take him out. And we'll light these four torches and the wall will move just like it did in the Dark Palace. You'll see there's a door that requires the big key to open. And I have the big key, so we're going to step on in. And here's the boss of the... of the Desert Palace. These are the, uh, Lawn Molas. 
And because I have the bow and silver arrow, they'll all die in one shot. Come on, come out of this come out of there so I can shoot you. There we go. Another piece of cake boss. They dropped me the map to the desert palace. Then I get the next crystal. I think I missed the big chest in the desert palace, so I'll go back and get it. And there's what Link's supposed to do once he has a sword. So we'll head back into the desert palace through this way. Maybe I didn't miss the big chest. Now I went through every door. Alright, I'm thinking if I need to return to Misery Mire or not. I don't think I do. So instead, we're gonna go somewhere else. I think we could actually clear the Tower of Hera in this part. Let's go do that. Let's go ahead and slip by these enemies. We've been through this area before. I still don't have the hook shot, so I can't take the alternative route. But I can take the normal route, since I have all the equipment necessary to do that to get into the Tower of Hera. And I don't think I need any particular special item. I mean, maybe aside from a sword to kill the boss, because I don't know if any of Link's other weapons work against it. So we'll step through this portal into the Dark World. There's an item down there in that chest, in there, and I could potentially reach it, but I don't know if I could. So we'll hold off on getting it for just now. Go ahead and grab the rupees. Normally that's a heart piece, but this time it was just rupees. We'll head into the Tower of Hera. We'll clear two dungeons in this part. The tower isn't too t difficult either. There's the big key right off the bat. I'll go ahead and pick it up hit by the Moldorm that was guarding it. Here you can see them properly leap away from me when I swing my sword at them. Come on. Yeah, these Moldorms do hit pretty hard. Yeah, the red Stalfoses will shoot bones at you when you swing at them and they leap away. That won't stop me, I can shoot arrows. See what the message block has to say. This is a bad place with a guy who will make you fall. A lot. <laughs> I think they're referring to the Moldorm boss of the level. Go ahead and grab that heart. There's the compass again. This time for the Tower of Hera. I don't have a key, so I can't go in there. So we'll have to go up the stairs. Here's some more of those bumper guys. I know they have a proper name, I just don't remember what it is. Don't really need to hit the crystal switch, since I think, uh... Yeah, these uh, marks on the floor, if I step on them, they make the holes move. They'll do this in other dungeons, too. So I'll move it so I can get up here, use the big key to open the door, and progress this way. I'll just use the hole to my advantage. <laughs> Cross this way. Out of the way, you. Yeah, they take three slashes with the normal sword to kill them. That's another thing, since I have the Titan's Mitt, like I mentioned before, I could upgrade the level 1 sword to the level 3 sword, basically skipping ahead in terms of power. Which, if I finish this quickly enough, I might just go and do. <laughs> Come on, hit that Moldorm. There we go. Another chest to open. It's got the map. Throw one of these jars at the Moldorm and miss. I got it with a silver arrow, though. You probably remember these guys from the Dark Tower, or the Dark Palace. They were hanging out in the dark and shot fire, but they were green instead of red. Pretty sure there's no difference between them. Maybe the green ones can take more hits. And if I step on this switch and then drop down this hole from the top, somehow that guy hit me while I was falling. <laughs> Yeah, it brings me up here and I can open this chest. It's got the key for downstairs in it. 
which I'm going to want to use, so I'm going to go back down. Normally that key contains the Moon Pearl, which is the item you need to use Link's equipment in the Dark World. If you don't have it, it makes it so that Link turns into a harmless rabbit wearing his tunic, and you can't use any items aside from items and bottles and the magic mirror to leave the Dark World. Alright, I guess I didn't need to hit the switch. But I do need to wait out these uh, tiles again. Throw jars at the tiles, just because... <laughs> why not? Alright, try to avoid them now. They do hit pretty hard. They take off one heart each time they hit you. And that's if I'm wearing the green tunic, which I am. If I get the blue mail or the red mail, it would reduce the damage they do to me. So yeah, there are suit upgrades for both Link and Samus. And so far, I haven't found any of them yet. <laughs> If I could find the barrier, the gravity suit, I could go back to Super Metroid and try a few more areas. But until I run out of places to check in Zelda, I won't have to go back to Super Metroid to look around. Actually, let's use one of my new medallions. Start with Ether. Normally that would freeze enemies, but in the case of these guys, it just killed them. Yeah, each of the medallions cast a spell that will clear the screen of any enemies some, in different ways. The Quake Medallion usually turns them into weird little blob things as though you'd hit them with the magic powder. The Ether Medallion usually freezes enemies. That's a bomb upgrade, so now I can carry five more bombs, up to fifteen now. I can open this by hitting the crystal switch. What was I talking about again? Oh yeah, the medallions, and the, and the Bombos medallion basically does a full screen fire attack. You saw me use it to open the uh, Misery Mire dungeon. Normally you use the Ether medallion to open it, but in this randomizer it randomizes which item you use. There we go. Now we'll head back up the tower again. Watch out for these guys again. I have to defeat them to clear the way. So we'll just uh, crush them like I did before. There we go. We'll fall in the hole. The door's already open, so I'll just walk right through it. Now we're just making our way back up to the tower to fight the boss. Unfortunately, I won't be able to kill the boss of the Tower of Harrow with a silver arrow because arrows don't work on it. You have to use your sword. Which also makes me regret not getting the, uh, sword upgrade now. Go away. <laughs> yeah, these guys only take one sword slash to kill. I think the ones in the Dark Palace that were green took more hits with the normal sword to kill, but I killed them with the hammer. These all contain hearts, which, if I need them, I'll come back around and activate the switch. But here's the boss of the stage. This is the giant Moldorm. To beat it, I have to hit its tail. I needed to move out of the way so I can jump down there. As you'll see, a silver arrow won't kill it. And when he hits you, he knocks you back real far, because his real goal is to knock you in these holes, which will reset the fight. So I don't want that to happen. I also don't want him to kill me, because I'm getting low on hearts. Right, if I can't beat him here, I'll probably go back and get the uh, level 3 sword. Alright, I'm getting out of there. Yeah, I fell on purpose. Watch out for any enemies and drop down this hole. This hole will lead me to a place where I can fully heal. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna grab the fairies down here to heal up. So even if I can't access the hearts in the jars, I can still get them to heal through there. Alright, let's go out and try to kill him this time. To be fair, this is how you'd normally fight the boss, using the level 1 sword. 
Again, I could get the level 3 sword now and then come back, but why do that if I can just kill the boss normally? I think the spin attack is actually the best move you could use on him. Again, I'm aiming for his tail, so I gotta... There we go. You can see, even though I wasn't too close to his tail, I still managed to hit him. He gets faster by the end. He doesn't do this if you come in with a high-level sword. You have to fight this boss later in the Tower of Ganon, so... By that point, you'll have a stronger sword, and you'll kill him in a few hits. And he won't go into this final phase where he's really fast. Ah, there we go, I still got him. He almost pushed me down, but I still beat him. Give me whatever item you've got. That's the blue mail. That's an upgrade to Link's suit. Now I take 50% uh, less damage from enemy attacks. And I got the crystal. So we're done in the Tower of Hera. We've cleared two dungeons. I can go this way, and there's more to the tower. There's more to the Death Mountain area. There's a tech type there. But I think what I'll do is I'm going to use the flute. And we'll wrap up by upgrading Link's sword to level 3. To do that, we'll head to Kakariko Village. We're gonna go up this way. Didn't mean to crash into those trees, but that's okay. I lift up this rock. And I lift up this one. And there's another portal to the Dark World here. Now from the Dark World, I'm going to get down. This leads back towards the Village of Outcasts. The enemies will hit me a lot less harder because I've got the blue mail. And we're going to get ourselves a fancy red sword to go with it. While I'm here, I might as well blast open this room. I think there's a treasure chest in here. Yeah, here we go. There's another heart piece. Usually they put rupees in these houses. So I'll be back in the village of outcasts later. Like I said, I want to wrap up by getting the uh, upgraded sword. So we head this way. Talk to this guy. We'll let him out of here. And he'll follow me, this frog guy. Now, I can't lose him, but I can't really go into a lot of places with him following me. So the best thing to do is to bring him back home. First thing we're gonna do before we take him home is we're gonna. Actually, I can do that later. Let's use the mirror here. You'll see he turns into a dwarf. We'll head into this house where the other dwarven smith is. And the two are reunited. I think I can talk to him. Thanks, thanks! Thanks, thanks! <laughs> now we're gonna step back in. Then I talk to them again. Okay, he gave me ten arrows. Okay, I guess the randomizer thought of that. <laughs> I thought I could upgrade my sword to the level three one by talking to them and having them upgrade it, but... I think the randomizer randomized that, so I can't. Oh well, randomizer got the better of me that time. So instead to wrap up, we'll open this thing and find out what random item is inside. Just you gotta hit all the stakes. These skeletons are all the skeleton cuckoos. They still function like cuckoos do, where if you hit them too many times, a flock of them will attack you. You get bonked one with a hammer, but that's okay. You have to hit them a whole lot to make them attack. And since I don't have any intention of attacking them, let's go in here and grab a missile upgrade for Samus. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this chest here. Ignore everything I just said, we're not going to wrap up yet. <laughs> this particular chest, you can't open it yourself. You have to take it to the guy in the desert, which I'm going to do right now. Yeah, ignore everything I said, we're going to wrap up by delivering this chest to the thief in the desert. He'll open it for me, and when he does, I'll get... Another missile. And now it's an underwhelming ending. Alright, now I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.